good morning guys what a uh, good little park up this was last night good night's sleep this bus pulled in about midnight a uh, uh, motorhome left this morning there's still a motorhome there camper van and another motorhome's pulled in this morning so we're just going to take you for a walk into settle and see what settle has to offer Oh, so this morning, uh, about good morning. You're looking rough again. It's that wine. I'm going to keep off that wine. So we're going to cross road because there is a sign about this bridge. Now, I don't know all the dates about it, but the bridge over the River Ribble, uh, it was built in 14 something, something. and it were only. 10 foot wide then it was rebuilt again in 18 summit so you can get your fat ass over it <laughs> no <laughs> then it were widened again later on in 1900s Somebody. and then they've added a little footbridge onto it but this is the bridge So it's been built quite some time. <laughs> Harry Potter. I don't know if they can see it. Can I get that? Oh, I can get down to it. Harry Potter made out of I'll, uh, I'll take you to look at that. It looks like when we were driving through yesterday, there were a lot of plant pot base things. There's a little path here. Ooh. Oh, what a lovely place to sit in summer. You're out in summer. <laughs> I know. And this is Harry Potter made out in plant pots. How good's that? Even birds made out in plant pots. And there's a big black cloud coming, so I'm gonna we'll catch you when we get a bit more into settle. I've got to show you this. As we've come off river, there's a car parked on a corner, on a path. And he's got this on back of his thing. Well, I've got to admit, mate, you certainly do. And look at these views. And to say we're in July, them bloody clouds look horrible. So from where we were parked near swimming pools, it's took us a good 10 minutes walks at a slow pace yeah, if not. to get into what looks like the market square. Royal Oak pub. Looks, it's a Saturday, so it is a bit busy. I do think there's a museum around here but we don't know whether dogs can go in it and it is free and also the dogs are allowed in the cafe bit what's he doing now so I didn't know if you noticed but uh, I was busy videoing and somebody Stop Neil in the background uh, and we're asking us all about questions but uh, if you're watching this hi we did catch your name and I hope your wife uh, has a good race this is our house this do you not think uh -huh. this is our house house that Jack built definitely <laughs> <laughs> oh 
what a quirky little shop. Oh, it's a toy shop. Up to now, from where I can see, I think I like it settled. Another couple of pubs. The only thing is, these pubs, they never have signs outside saying dog friendly. And I've just suddenly stopped, because I've just seen Tigger Plant Park. How cute is that? So it must be a themed thing then, because across the road there's another one. Wholesome Bee. I don't know whether you can see that, but I'm going to end up getting one over here. There's another one. I will. Uh, I'm going to cross the road, I think, because there's Freddy Overt Road. I don't even see, but I'll take you across before I get run over. So this is outside Forest and Feast. And that's Freddy. And it says, So I was right, I think it is a plump pot themed place that they're doing. Oh, there's one across the road. <laughs> now this is the other one. Deeds not words. Bigger buns. You are you? Definitely you. Bigger buns. They are good these, and there's one across the road, and I think it's the outside jewellers. So I've just spotted me and uh, Neil. Definitely if we can, if we can get across. Oh, well, what? What? Which way are we going? Cause definitely me. I'm not sure about you. Really? I'll try and show you this one. This road is unbelievable to get across. So. We've got So I think Neil were trying to say that it's Popeye. I certainly am not olive oil. And then we have another one. Oh we can't get across. Outside the postif, very authentic postman pat, and his black and white cap. How ah, good is this one? So, just come right corner, we're going to head up to the museum where it says there museum up that way and I've just seen this one oh well well done settle you're making us smile today because the sun's out and we get to see all these lovely plant pots so we're just walking up towards the museum so can you imagine what's outside this one? Ah, good's that one. Looks like Jennifer. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so this is the museum. I was saying. I'll go in and ask if dogs are allowed in. I don't. But we'll see. So dogs are not allowed in the museum, only on the ground floor and in the cafe bit. So I will take you for a walk round 
this museum. built in the late 1670s. Old printing machine. So this cabinet is a court cupboard from the 1930s. And as Neil had said, this is my room, the fossil room. falling down these stairs. Awesome. I think we're on the top floor here. I'm not sure what this is. And then it does say, settled to Carlisle Railway Exhibition, this way. Well, let's have a look, what's in here? So this just shows you the, the railway, the men who built the railway. And that's the Ribble Head Viaduct, old suitcases pocket watch, whistle, prevention is better than cure 1924 and prevention accidents. So this must have been their health and safety booklet. Settle station opened in 1876. So that's been open some time. We're back down to the bottom. Thank you. I did, thank you very much. As you go out, look for a little circle carved underneath the outside archway. Oh, yeah. It's a witch mark. Oh. It's, it's to prevent evil and witches, particularly, from coming into the house. I will look at that. Oh, yeah, I can see it on here. Look, catch up and you will see the witch. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. No. Oh, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> no, they can see it on camera. That's a witch mark that the ladies just said in the, the museum. And it's to stop witches entering the house. So it doesn't work. What do you mean? Stopping witches entering the house, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does, because I entered it. It's beautiful in there. Look. Yeah, yeah, really nice. You have to watch it. Mm. As always. Well, unfortunately, dogs can't go in. I'll see it when everybody else does on YouTube. But it's really nice in there. And that's Follow Museum. So, hoodie's off, I've got a right sweat on, but I've just been into a little shop, turn it that way. Trevor's Market Shop, there's quite everything, from tea light candles, which I've just got. Sweets, cakes, biscuits, washing powder, you name it, they do it. And it's all fairly cheap. This is my kind of place. What? Cheap side. 
didn't see that. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, they're right cute. So there's a truly, truly scrumptious sweet shop with Willy Wonka, I don't know whether you can see it. And there's his golden ticket. There's that many streets to go up. We have another one round this corner. Oh! <laughs> That's that amazing show. Sure. <laughs> And this is outside fish and chip shop. Yeah, I'll have to meet a friend. It's a big hill. And you've got the co-op and then a shop that says practically everything. Did you think I'd run off and left you, love? I thought you'd gone, no, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're hiding. Did you get that elephant in? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying what a lovely, lovely little place this is. So, are we heading back to Reckless? Uh, yeah, I think we've seen it all, haven't we? Yep. We'll make us way back. So it's a place we've never been to before. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Uh, I'd recommend coming round here, definitely. And if we'd more time, we'd stay another night. There's a lot of antique shops, bits and bats shops, a few pubs, a cafe, quite a few cafes I've seen are dog friendly. Oh, there's a bumblebee across the road. I'm going to have to risk my life again. There's a bumblebee across that road. I'm gonna to have to risk my life again. They are really good what they've done. Oh, it's not a bumblebee. It is. It's there. <laughs> and there's another one. So we'll take you across the road to show you this one. So this is a bumblebee that he said want a bumblebee. They are quite cute, you've got to admit. And then outside the church, we've got Dennis the Menace. My nose is running now. Oh. Your twin. It's our Phil. <laughs> Gets around your Phil a lot, doesn't it? No, it can't be. This, this one's got air. Oh. Wow. Look at this for a view. What a view these have got. So guys, we're just getting ready and sorted to leave Settle. I'm going up to Honesty Box now and just put a, a donation in. As you can see, there's a few camper vans and motor homes parked here. 
and the sun's kept lovely. I don't know where we're heading to. I think we're heading towards Skipton Way and hopefully we can find a great stop off and uh, sit by a river. If not, we've had a good time here. So, this is the car park honesty box. All proceeds go to the pool. So, oh, can I get it in? Yeah. And there, it's in. Thanks, Settle Swimming Pool, for a great park up. So now, we're off hit the road.